you will agree with me. There are people who are listening to me. Mm -hmm. You only slept with only one girl. Mm -hmm. And from there, you have never been able to control anger. Mm -hmm. You have never been able to control Or even puberty. Even puberty comes. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, it's one of the causes. In fact, it's in the word of God. Mm -hmm. Proverbs Prover 6, verse 32. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so one of the things that we must really, really mm -hmm. talk to our youths, mm -hmm. and we are not talking this because we don't want you to have pleasure yes. of sex. Exactly. Kindly, if you really mm -hmm. are generational, mm -hmm. and you want to have a family that has no, you don't have to don't want to create bad memories mm -hmm. of different women and different men in your wow. life. You have to be very intentional to make sure mm -hmm. that you keep yourself clean mm -hmm. from wow. sexual immorality wow. and especially fornication before marriage. Mm -hmm. And I want to say this, mm -hmm. it is good if you are a virgin but you can be a virgin, but you're not sexually pure. Mm -hmm. you, can mm -hmm. virgin, you can be a virgin, virgin who is not sexually pure. Sexual. You're not sexually pure. What How? Exactly How is that possible? Because purity <laughs> comes through yes. what you see and what you hear. Yeah. Ah. You get that? I can be a virgin, mm. but I keep watching porn. Mm. I can be a virgin, but I'm masturbating. Mm. You're getting that? Yeah. Ah. Yes. I can be a virgin, but I have funny things that I do. All right. Which is even wise Bildos, uh, You know, yeah, uh, because I have never been broken by a man. Mm. So, uh, sexual purity, mm. it is something you pursue until eternity, until when you die. Oh. So, sexual purity wow. is not only for the people who are not married. Even the It's married. not for the children. It's mm. not for the teenagers. Mm. It's not for the for the youth. No, yeah. sexual purity is also for the people who are also married. Mm -hmm. Wow. You sexual have to stay sexually pure mm. to your partner. Mm. Ah. You get that? Because most of people think mm. after I marry, then I can do whatever I want. Mm. We are here just to encourage you that you need to do more sex. You need to connect with your partner more. That's the main reason as to why we are here, by exactly. the way. Yeah. That's what we keep saying. It's only that we keep changing the topic. Mm. But it's one word. We keep repeating. Please do sex. Please do tua tua. You need it tua tua. Whatever it is that you are going through, mm. just find a way of doing tua tua. My husband, <laughs> how are you prepared for the show? I'm so ready. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for that emphasis. It's very important. And I don't even know the topic of don't. today. <laughs> it's coming. It's, it's a coming. surprise, I yeah, tell you. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So we are so grateful that uh, we're always here to help each other each other, uh -huh. also as being helped. Yes, That's yes. why we are here to learn, to help, and to grow. Yes, And yes. also to know that we have very healthy marriages outside there. Uh -huh. So on the panel, we are having our parents Our parents. Here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. Welcome, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We honor them. I honor you, ma'am. I just want Thank to emphasize you. this on the show that Penny, ma'am, are many toa individually. When you say this, you say dad is toa my husband. Yes. Yes. Mm. If you are a person who wants to see you at home, your family turn around to life yes. please this is a resource that god has given us mom i'm exactly. so blessed Wonderful. every time i see your face smiling i feel yeah. like wow. wow more life into me yes. your marriage is not a package in your own online amen. i've lived with you we've learned from you we keep learning and yes. you are such a blessing amen welcome wow. to the show daddy thank you yes. thank you so much yes you know there are people who up to today yes they don't believe that marriage works. Oh, yes. And um, mm. when I see the passion, mm -hmm. the commitment mm. that this show is having yes. about bringing sanity, you know, the light teaching yes. into marriage, oh, it yes. gives me a lot of joy. Hallelujah. And I want to say that I really love you. Wow, thank and, you so and, and, much. And thank you for being oh, bold. Stop looking. Because uh, <laughs> the, the things that... Uh, <laughs> You know, yeah. uh, happen on a daily basis. Oh, yes. The things that, um, you know, go all over every day. Yes. You are always, you know, above whatever is happening. Wonderful. Because you know mm. why you are living. Oh, yes. You know your purpose. This is my purpose. And in life, if you don't fulfill your purpose, yes. no matter how much we celebrate you, yes. It is all in, in vain. vain. Very and I think by the end of the day, uh -huh. uh, what matters is when you go to heaven, yes. will God says, well done. Mm. You know, 
faithful mm -hmm. servant. Oh, yes. That to me this is what is very, very important. Very important. And so I want you to, to know that you can count on my support Wonderful. in making sure Thank that you. in this nation, Amen. in Africa, Amen. the whole world, Amen. they have done the right way oh, yes. because God has adored us yes. with a such kind of grace. Amen. Karibu sana, my dear. Wow. I wow. truly also want to thank Pastor Monene for Karibu. being uh, real. I think for me, the greatest gift God has given my husband, mm. who is not only a husband to me, but a father to many, is yeah. that reality. Yeah. And I think that's what we need in most, in most men. Yeah. If most husbands can be real to their wives, mm. real to their children, mm. and to the people who are around them, mm. then the influence of a man can be so impactful. Yeah. For me, your work... Mm. Uh, in the Lord mm. as a born again man mm. and as a husband before yeah. you are a pastor to the people for me I really count it as a blessing mm. and I think I'm among the blessed women yeah. to have a man who who walks the truth who walks the talk mm. and there's no faking mm. you know people can fake yeah. a lot yeah there's no faking yeah. there's no yeah. packaging yeah. we are just real mm. and I think this is what was the conviction of Pastor Monere because in mm. the beginning when we began mm. I wasn't so mm. it's good for viewers yeah. to know if there was someone who didn't mm. have proper sense of direction in mm. marriage it was Pastor Sue mm. but I met a man yes who had grounded himself so well in the word of God. Mm. Wow. And by so doing, the word of God had given him such a stability. Yes. And he told me a word that I'll never forget, that one of the things, my wife, that I would want us we conquer and overcome mm. is the spirit of faking, mm. looking like we yeah. are and we are not. Yes. And yes. that thing was seriously in me. Yes. And I was wondering, how uh -huh. do we overcome this? Uh -huh. And he gave me examples. He told uh -huh. me one of the things is to have mentors. Uh -huh. Have people who can challenge you, uh -huh. who can be able to correct you, guide uh -huh. you uh -huh. in your path of life. Uh -huh. Then number two, invest in godly knowledge. Yeah. Wow. Knowledge is very important exactly. in teachings, seminars. Mm. Mm. When you hear there's somewhere that you can go and gather knowledge, go as long as those people are credible. Exactly. And then number three, he also talks about it, which was very, very, very powerful. Mm. It's be a doer of those things that you have been wow. taught. When you are being mentored, mm. are words that are spoken to you. Exactly. When you go to gather knowledge, are also words that are spoken to mm. you. So do be put those things, small, small, mm. small, 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 mm. small, small, and mm. you find yourself making progress. Mm -hmm. So I'm a product of so many years mm. working on myself, mm. working on my character, working yeah. on my speech. Yeah. And I thank God that through your help Caribou. and your support, you've, uh -huh. you've helped me to reach the, the far that I'm in. Uh -huh. And I'm truly grateful to God. Amen. And my prayer is that that which is in you may mm. impact many nations. Mm. And not only that, also having impacted my children. Mm -hmm. Because no matter how much we are heroes mm. outside here, if we are failures in our own family, mm -hmm. then that is not real success. Yeah, exactly. I'm so grateful when I see my son, my sons and my daughter wow. wanting to be like their dad, wanting mm. to be like their mom now. Mm. So for me, I can only say that marriage works. Amen. And when it works, mm -hmm. the first people who benefit are mm. your children mm. before any other person can mm -hmm. benefit from you. Yes. And for me, I'm so blessed to, to be your wife. Wonderful. And I promise Amen. to be submissive as the word of God says. Caribou. Yeah, because the Bible says that yeah. wives submit to your own husband as mm. unto the Lord. Mm. So if you find a woman who has a challenge with submission, mm. she also has a challenge with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because it begins with the Lord then before it comes to the physical are. Lord mm -hmm. on earth. So thank you so much for this show. I'm ah. really eager Amen. to tackle the topic of today yes. and have the greatest blessing that we can have and knowledge wow. and kindly put this knowledge into practice so mm -hmm. that your lives can be changed amen oh yes <laughs> i was getting emotional wow that is so deep that's so here deep. in this wow. you've done wow. i think you you've only said I, I, I only knew uh, less about him. Yes. What I'm learning about him is how he's always calm. Yeah, patient. Despite yes. the yes. pressure and whatever, you never see him reacting. He's always, no. don't worry, it'll be fine. Yeah, yes. You can tell him this. No, don't worry, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And I've been learning that for me because uh, I think I, I, I react so yes. fast mm -hmm. until I. Even sometimes I'm here, react I'm here, okay, sir. When I remember about you, yes, uh, so I yes. think I'm reacting, I come back down. And, yes. mom, I have a special request. Yes. 
because what you are doing, many people don't understand why you talk about sex so much. Yes. Mm. They don't know why you talk about marriage so much. Yes. And I think one of these days we should just come and just talk about your journey yes. in mm -hmm. your marriage. Yeah. Yes. So it will give us a very good background. So yes. Sanga, she just talks about sex every now and then. Mm. They don't know the struggle you went through yes. in your marriage in terms of sex. It is true. And how you, you, you move from that uh, woman who never wanted the marriage to how you are now a marriage ambassador. Wonderful. And I'm requesting, that's my special request, that one of these days yes. we just talk about your story. Yes. We just see how did you come from that woman to whom you are today Wonderful. and how did that help you to be the woman you are. Wonderful. Because most of us men, when we have a woman who is not submissive, mm -hmm. we kick her out. Yes. I really want uh, one of these days, we just sit down and then we just share. You tell us mm -hmm. how your journey has been. And I think it will really uh, get a lot of cobwebs from many people's faces. Right, so I have a question here from one of our followers. Yes. And she is a lady again. Uh, I think most men don't care much about their marriages, mm -hmm. whether it's working or not. So I think women mm -hmm. are very keen on how to heal their marriage. That's why they come up with questions. Mm -hmm. She's saying that, hello team, thank you for the good work you are doing. My name is Dash. I have been married for the last 15 years to a white man. We are blessed with everything materially. There is nothing I lack in my marriage. For the past three years, I've been in a sexless marriage. Our marriage began well, and my husband will do all it takes to make our sex life interesting. This included things that I never liked, but I did it for him. I have done it all, from anal sex, from oral sex, using a dog on me, and pornography. It hit a point where our sex life was going down and my husband began raping me. I lost interest in sex. He said he could come up with a way to spice our marriage and whereby he brought in exchange where we could have sex with his friends and he will have sex with my, my friend's wives. This again became boring. We have now reached a point where we do not have sex at all for the past three years. Recently, one of his cousins, who is also his friend, paid us a visit. They stayed until late. I went to bed. I woke up at around 2 a.m. and found my husband and his cousin in the living room asleep but half naked. I don't want to believe that he is gay. If this is true, I'm going to kill him and kill myself. Kindly help. Did I hear a dog in that statement? There, there are things that he has highlighted here. There is something about dog sex. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There is anal sex. Mm -hmm. There is oral sex. There is pornography. His cousin, can you call that bestial, uh, incest. incest with yeah, his cousin? Incest. Mm -hmm. There is gazing. Mm -hmm. There is rape. Mm -hmm. I think, I think I'm tired. Do you think a marriage like that can have a turnaround, healthy <laughs> turnaround? Number one, I suspect that these people are not born again. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You see, the Bible says the fear of the Lord mm. is the beginning of all wisdom. Mm. Mm. And when we talk about the fear, we are not talking about the fear that we know, mm. fearing someone, mm. you know, to be punished, to be ridiculed, mm. to be corrected, rebuked. No, mm. we are talking of reference. The fear, the reference of God, mm -hmm. is the beginning of all wisdom. Yeah. We are in a generation whereby, uh, and uh, we have said that in our former episodes, where love is God. Mm -hmm. Love is God. Mm -hmm. Instead of God being love. Being love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, that's what I'm seeing from uh, that, and it could also reflect to so many people's lives. So love is being worshipped. So love is being worshipped. Mm -hmm. And that's why they are saying, mm -hmm. uh, there's a saying now going on saying, can I be allowed to love whom I want mm -hmm. and to love whatever I want? So mm -hmm. if I want to love my laptop, if I want to love a man, if I want to love a woman, mm -hmm. I should be allowed. So love has become a God. Mm -hmm. But I think 
that's a perversion. Mm. To me, that's a perversion. Mm. And I think this gives us a topic before even we answer that question. Mm. That number one, these people are not born again. Mm. I can sense that they don't have a mentor. Mm. They don't have a marriage mentor. Mm. They have not invested themselves in the in in, in, in knowledge that makes marriage work. Yeah. Mm. And so they are operating with the world secular. Mm. Let me say secular knowledge. Mm. And the word secular means without God. Mm. So they are getting all that from mm. the world. Mm. And so that's why there's all this confusion. Mm. I think it gives us a topic of the forbidden uh, sex. Forbidden, forbidden types of sex. Mm. Forbidden, forbidden types so we of have sex. types of sex that, that are, are not, not allowed, allowed in the marital mm. sense. Even, marito, even before marriage. Mm. Okay. Like I would begin now with fornication. Mm. Okay. The word of God is very clear. Mm. Mm. that uh, no fornicator mm. if you read the book of uh, Galatians 5 verse 19 mm. and you also read the book of 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9 it mm. talks about that no fornicator fornicator is someone who is not married mm. you're not married, you're a man, you're a woman mm. you have never been married mm. but you have sex with women you have sex with men mm. in other words opposite sex mm. fornication means opposite sex mm. so you have sex with women you have sex with men mm. and doesn't bother you mm. Whoever gave you your private parts, mm. the joy well and the joy gun, mm. you know, your vagina and your penis mm. did not allow you to do that. Because mm. it is good for us to understand the person who gave us our sexual organs mm. is not ourselves. Mm. Yes. It is we have a deity, mm. we have a God mm. who, who in his mind, mm. he knew that he's making you to be a boy mm. and a girl. Mm. And so whoever gave you your private part is God. Mm. It's God. And whoever gave us these organs has mm. also said how we are supposed to use them. Yes. Can I read that one? Yes, Galatians chapter 5 mm -hmm. and verse 19. All right. It says like this. Mm -hmm. Now the works of the flesh mm -hmm. are evident. evident. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which are, mm -hmm. number one, adultery. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then number two, fornication. Mm -hmm. And you have just mentioned and that. you have just mentioned yes. that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In fact, if you mm -hmm. go verse, verse 22, talks about it. Yes. Uh -huh. At yeah. this part. Yeah. Uh -huh. I tell you, if I yeah. from there. I tell you, I tell you mm -hmm. beforehand, mm -hmm. just as I also told you yes. in time past, yes. that those who practice such things yes. will not mm -hmm. inherit the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Wow. So wow. when we talk about mm. inheriting the kingdom of God, mm. everyone who is watching us, mm. you are aware that we have two lives. Mm. We have this physical life where we have the body mm -hmm. with all our body organs, mm. and especially now the vagina and the penis. Mm. And after this, we know we have buried our parents, we have buried our aunts, our uncles. So we know there is another life after this life. Mm. So the Bible says, after this life, there is another life. Mm. And that life, it has a standard. Mm. And how you used your life when you are here or not determines whether you qualify for that kingdom mm. that belongs to the God mm. who gave you your sexual organs. Mm. So the word of God says, if you practice all these things, and there are quite many, mm. we have jumped quite a number of them, mm. but because of our topic today, we are talking about the types of sex that are not allowed yeah. or forbidden. forbidden, then we have mentioned about fornication, that anybody who fornicates, mm. anybody who has sex before marriage, mm. the word of God says you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Mm. But that is not just final. Mm. If you can repent, mm. you get the point. Mm. If you can repent even if you have done fornication mm. all the days of your life, mm. the blood of Jesus is able to wash you. Wow. And we had said in this show mm. that there is no sin that you can imagine mm. that is greater than the love of God. Mm. Because when you are yet a sinner, mm. Jesus Christ died for you. Yeah. And so whether you are a fornicator, you are an adulterer, whatever mm. thing that you are doing that is outside God's will with your sexual organs, mm. you can still, God can still give you a chance of repentance and he forgets your sin forever and you're able to begin a brand new life. And so we want to talk about now the types of sex that are not allowed. So number one is So mom, maybe before you start listing yes. the, the type types yes. of sex that are, no, are forbidden, yes. there is this thing that, especially the youth have been really mm -hmm. saying, and it is all over, people wow. are saying, just do what makes you li uh, happy. Makes you mm -hmm. happy. Do what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Life is YOLO. You only live once. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, mm -hmm. when you begin to do what makes you happy, mm -hmm. you will be following the flesh most of the time. Mm -hmm. yes. And mm -hmm. mama said, and the Bible also said, mm -hmm. that we need to do what pleases God. Because yeah. if you follow after the flesh, we are not 
not of God. Mm. We are not of God. Yeah, and all these things we are going to discuss are just after the flesh. Yes. Wow. So maybe we hear how yes what so we've been doing. Fornication is something we are talking about to our daughters, our sons, our children. Mm. Let's say for example, mm. sex is not meant for children actually. Yes. Children are people below 12 years. Mm. Sex is not meant for teenagers. Mm. We are talking of 13 years to 19 years. Mm. Sex is not meant for adults. Mm. You know, we are talking of 20 to 20 years and above. Mm. And sex is not meant for working class. Mm. Sex is not meant for people in the college. Mm. And we it's because we have not been well taught. Mm. And you see now from this side of Africa, mm. you know, people have a notion that sex is a taboo. Mm. It is it is ugly. It should never be spoken in public. Yet that is what most people mm. do on a daily basis. Mm. And so we need to come out so yeah. So they would rather do it in secret, yes. watch their porn, but mm. nobody should mention and direct yeah. them. So maybe That's a fallacy. Is asking, mm. uh, sex is not meant for all those types of people. Yes. So who, who is, is it supposed to have sex? Mm. The, the married and the parents. Right. If you're married, then you're a parent. <laughs> yes. Then you're supposed to have sex. Because yes. whoever says that is not us. Mm. It is the word of God. Yes. And the word of God is God. Mm. You get the point? And God is the one who gave you your vagina and your penis. Mm. Yeah. We are under that word. Mm. We are not above the mm. word of God that just because we are teaching you. Mm. And so uh, what we are saying is that fornication is not is not is wrong. Mm. It should it not be forbidden. done. Mm. It is forbidden by God who mm. gave you your private parts. Mm. And so if you are there, you are listening, mm. and you are a youth, you are not married, you are in college, mm. you are working class, mm. kindly don't have sex. Until when God gives you a man and a woman, you, you know, you plan about marriage, and you get into marriage, then you can do it and do it forever. Until death do you apart. Mm. Yeah. By the way, when you begin having sex in marriage, you continue until death do you apart. Yeah. So there's no hurry you know to get into it as early as now mm. when when you have time to to wait on learn the principles of marriage mm. learn a few things about relationship mm. so that when you get into it nothing will bring down your relationship and your marriage before so, maybe you read it that eh? yes i feel like if, if you don't mind mm. if you go a little bit deeper yes because this is something that is a, a thought yes to so many young people. yes why is fornication or sex outside marriage mm -hmm. uh, you know a, a, a problem yes. uh, to, to, to to the young people wow what happens if, if, if you if wow you that's a powerful wow. yes. that's a powerful yes. that's a powerful question mm -hmm. thank you pastor Munene. Mm -hmm. i want to say this that mm -hmm. one of the things that breaks in your mind remember you have the spirit the human spirit mm -hmm. you have the soul and you have the the, the body yeah. you are three in one mm -hmm. yeah you have the human spirit that resembles god mm -hmm. you have the soul that has your mind your emotions and your will and you have the physical body mm. that we identify you with yeah. what happens with sex sex affects the three dimensions mm. it affects your human spirit it affects your mind your emotions and your will and it also affects your physical body in mm. this sense anytime you have sex with someone mm. it is not just something of two three minutes you are actually you actually become one flesh you be that person one. Mm. one flesh meaning what is in the flesh of this person gets into you and vice versa wow transferable the two shall become one mm. flesh not one mind uh -huh. not one spirit uh -huh. it is one flesh one flesh, flesh. so whatever is in the mm. flesh mm -hmm. that is in me yeah. when you sleep with me you receive it and whatever is in you in the flesh you receive it what do you mean in the sense that you know I mean, like for example yes. we, we we have the dna okay if you go, we have learned mm. this in biology mm. that we have the genetic makeup of every person yeah. mm. so if you sleep with someone mm -hmm. who, who, who is and someone who is fornicating mm. and committing adultery these are people who don't have reference for god okay. mm. so and they are their domain and the control of satan yeah. so the person who is controlling them at that particular time is there is the flesh is the devil yeah. but the devil you will not see with your optical eyes neither mm. can you touch him with your hands mm. Mm. But he's real, mm. just like God. Mm -hmm. You have never seen God, but we know from our spirits that God exists. Okay. Yeah. So, so it mom, mom, we are trying to say yes. that when somebody when you have sex with a certain person, mm -hmm. you are opening yourself up like you are a soul, you are mm -hmm. a portal 
you're opening up an, a portal, <laughs> yes. you are receiving from them, Downloading and also they are receiving. So, kama kona suicidal tendency, yes. you yes. receive that on the portals. Yes. Kama kona shida zake, addictions, you receive that. Thank you. Uh, if you sleep with someone who has a problem wow. with the masturbation, yes. mm. let's say, for example, the young, let's, let's say, for example, a young man sleeps with a young lady, mm. and this lady is a masturbator, mm. she's a lesbian, mm. you're getting that, mm. uh, because we are talking on the side of sex, mm. yes. uh, she, she's a, she has been raped, she has mm. once been raped, she has slept with several men, mm. whatever she collected through her vagina, mm -hmm. through you sleeping with her, uh -huh. you, you collect. also become one. Now I understand. You are, you're getting, that's what the Bible says, the two shall become one. Mm. In other words, whatever is in you, genetically mm -hmm. and it has been proven yes. that anytime that you have sex with someone mm -hmm. they leave their genetic makeup in you a bit the of dna and the that's how even they test the rape cases they Thank just you. take they a use bit the test. Mm. yes wow. in, in fact if you are raped today mm. we just need to take a swab mm. and be able to tell that your dna is in this mm. semen is in this mm. fluids you're mm. getting that so we have to be very careful mm. sex is not just a five minutes thing mm. it's not something you do very quick it's mm -hmm. no you wow. might do it and it, it can mess up your life Completely. If you're sleeping with me and I have a spirit of anger, mm -hmm. I have a spirit of poverty, mm -hmm. I, all these spirits, mm -hmm. witchcraft, I, you have become now one flesh one with me. <laughs> and that's why after we break, mm -hmm. it becomes so difficult to forget this person because they left something in them. They deposited something they in them. They deposited wow. something in them. So, for example, if you are a lady mm -hmm. and you have slept with the 39 men, when? so in tipi, you, tipi, there are 39 tipi, tipi, men tipi, tipi, tipi. inside you talking plus, through. Plus, what those men were carrying yeah, from other plus women. What they, they carried also from oh, other yes. women yeah. so that that's times. why god deals with sexual immorality with a lot of, uh, with a lot of uh, you know uh, would i say with a lot of warnings because he knows we are doing it without knowledge Wow. Mom, you, you see, you see so what you are you saying. With a woman, mm -hmm. um, as a man, mm -hmm. when you sleep with a woman mm -hmm. who has also slept with eight or nine men inside you, there are eight or nine men in you. Ooh. <laughs> in other words, they have left something in you. Oh, man. That's what you are finding. Exceptions. Marriage is not now. You can imagine such a lady or such a man mm -hmm. marries. Mm -hmm. You find you have a lot of memories mm -hmm. of different mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. and, and, and that's not, why they need God. We need God. Yes, and that's come. why now you find mm -hmm. you are not able to stick wow. because mm -hmm. one of the things that happens when you have mm -hmm. uh, uh, when you have uh, sex with someone, there's something you break inside you, and this is called you know the law of stickability. Mm -hmm. The law of stickability. stickability. Mm. Wow. You're not able to stick together. Mm. Remember, sex in marriage, mm. in real marriage, mm. is a super glue. It is to cement. Mm -hmm. yeah, it is a super glue. Yes. It, in our unganisha. Wow. it makes you, you are joined, you become mm. one. Mm. You're getting that. Yes. So you can imagine how many super glues now you have. You have. Mm -hmm. So you find it messes with the with your stick, the law of stickability because mm -hmm. if you have never had sex mm -hmm. and this and those who are who are, who are actually listening to me mm -hmm. can agree with that. If wow. you if in your lifetime and now you are married, I'm mm -hmm. talking to those who are married mm -hmm. and you had never had sex with any other woman, mm -hmm. you had never had sex with any other man, mm -hmm. you, you don't have any other memory in your mind mm -hmm. apart from the person whom you sleep with. Mm -hmm. You don't have any, anybody. Mm -hmm. Nobody comes, even when you're having sex, no person plays in your mind. That's mm -hmm. true. You're getting that. Mm -hmm. eh? Why? The law of stickability stays. Mm -hmm. st sticks to both of you. Mm -hmm. You get that. Mm -hmm. But now you have married me. Mm -hmm. You, you are a virgin. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm not. Mm -hmm. So what happens? If, for me, I'm remembering all the men and mm -hmm. you are only remembering Sue. Mm -hmm. So you find if there's a breakup, this man, most of the times, he may, may commit suicide mm. because he's not able to get, you know, Susan out of his mm. mind, or he's not able to get Eunice, uh, uh, Judy, mm. you know, Agnes uh, uh. out of their mind. And you wonder why would such a man, good man, commit suicide, get depression, get mental disorder mm. because of a woman, mm. because of that law? Mm. That's what the Bible says. You, if you read the Word of God in the book of uh, First Corinthians six. And verse 16 and 17, mm -hmm. the word of God says that if you sleep with a harlot, mm -hmm. you have become one flesh. Wow. You're also Just like you are one spirit mm -hmm. with the Lord. Mm -hmm. The same spirit that operates in Jesus mm -hmm. is the same spirit that operates in you. Mm -hmm. yes. So now that you are married to Jesus, mm -hmm. you operate, you are joined by the spirit mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. So you have become one. Mm -hmm. So so equally is it to someone who has sex outside marriage. Mm -hmm. You're getting mm -hmm. that. Whether you are fornicating or committing adultery, you become one flesh with this person. Mom, you know, I never knew how this mm -hmm. se sexual energy, mm -hmm. powerful it is, mm -hmm. until we, I began, if you begin the journey of 
you are be, you are you are trying to connect with yourself. You are learning. Mm -hmm. Even you study other religions like mm -hmm. Hindus mm -hmm. and Islam. Mm -hmm. People who are serious with the uh, spirituality, their spiritual aspect, mm -hmm. they refrain from sex. Thank and you. it is an Hindu strictly, even for seven years, mm -hmm. you don't have sex. And when you, you marry, you just have sex with that One particular person. person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering if this thing is taught in our Bibles. Mm -hmm. The Hindus are saying it. Mm -hmm. the and they are, they are very strict about it. Mm -hmm. Christians, we are a bit lenient. We are like, mm, the grace will come. But them, mm -hmm. there but is, even be stoned. you can mm -hmm. be stoned. Mm -hmm. And they have a way of knowing if you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it, it affects the, 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 the circumstances around that person's life, yeah. if you are to ascend to a certain level spiritually, it clouds your, your, mm. your sense of mm. unini, your, your, your sense of reasoning and vision in the spiritual aspect. So, what is, the, mm. what is it about sex that we are never taught mm -hmm. that these people knew and Christianity, we have just been told don't have sex, fornication is sin and I'm thankful to God that mom, you are trying to explain. Wow. It's mm. very true you are explaining, people are beginning to relate mm. and understand, oh, kube ni hivi, kube ni hivi. Mm. People don't wow. know. You see the way God has created the human the human brain. Yes. We have two types of brain. We have the conscious mind yes. that gets aroused and immediately has sex. Yes. And we have another mind inside called the subconscious mind. Yes. Mm -hmm. That mind does not sleep. It operates very well with your human spirit. Mm -hmm. You get that. Wow. When you tell some this person has no conscious, yeah. mm. we're not talking about the conscious mind we are talking about the subconscious mind mm -hmm. and that's where the storage mm -hmm. of all the information mm -hmm. all the things that you have ever seen all the mm -hmm. things you have ever heard mm -hmm. all the things you have ever done mm -hmm. they are stored in the subconscious mind mm -hmm. so the subconscious mind works hand in hand mm -hmm. with your human spirit mm -hmm. so whatever gets into the subconscious mind mm -hmm. and it is it is it is not consistent mm -hmm. with your nature mm -hmm. it also defies your human spirit mm -hmm. wow that's why the bible wow. says in the book of matthew 2 verse 35 out of the abundance of the heart, mm -hmm. the, mouth the mouth speaks. speaks. Mm -hmm. How did it get into the heart? Through the subconscious mind, mm -hmm. not through the conscious mind. Mm -hmm. Wow. You're getting that. Wow. So when you're having sex with someone, mm -hmm. whatever got you attracted to one another mm -hmm. is actually the physical. Wow, mm -hmm. he's beautiful. Wow, mm -hmm. he's handsome. Wow, he looks like he can be mm -hmm. good in bed. You see, the conscious mind, mm -hmm. and immediately you make a decision. Mm -hmm. After making a decision, mm -hmm. the conscious mind will tell you what it has a very soft, still voice. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is not right. Mm -hmm. But the conscious mind has a very loud voice. So mm -hmm. what it does, it swallows this soft, still voice mm -hmm. in you. They say you the Holy Spirit yeah. has still voice. So, yeah, so yeah. you feel you are you are jogging, you are you are you are you are battling between mm -hmm. two things. Do I do it? Do I not do it? Mm -hmm. You get that. Now it is the subconscious mind resisting together with your human spirit mm -hmm. because they know if you enter into this, mm -hmm. you have messed us. Wow. And when you mess us, we you, you mess the whole circle. Mm -hmm. The whole system. That. The whole system corrupted. will be messed. Yeah. So that's why the word of God is very categorical. When you read the word of God in the book of First Corinthians six verse eighteen, mm -hmm. I, I love N N L. New Living Translation. Yes. It says that run away from mm -hmm. sexual immorality. Mm -hmm. wow. No other sin mm -hmm. clearly affects your body mm -hmm. as this one. Mm -hmm. Run away. Run because mm -hmm. all other sins are outside the body. Yeah. But this one Inside. so much affects your body. Mm -hmm. Which body? The subconscious mind and the human spirit. And when they are messed, from there, your mind becomes distorted. You will agree with me. There are people who are listening to me. Mm -hmm. You only slept with only one girl. Mm -hmm. And from there, you have never been able to control anger. Mm -hmm. You have never been able to control Or even puberty. Even puberty comes. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, it's one of the causes. In fact, it's in the word of God. Mm -hmm. Proverbs mm -hmm. 6, verse 32. Mm -hmm. yeah. So one of the things that we must really, really mm -hmm. talk to our youths, mm -hmm. and we are not talking this because we don't want you to have pleasure. Yeah of sex. Exactly. Kindly, if you really mm. are generational mm. and you want to have a family that has no, you don't have, you don't want to create bad memories mm. and of traumas. different women and different men in your wow. life. Mm. You have to be very intentional to make sure mm -hmm. that you keep yourself clean mm -hmm. from wow. sexual immorality wow. and especially fornication before marriage. Mm -hmm. And I want to say this, mm -hmm. it is good if you are a virgin but you can be a virgin, but you're not sexually pure. Mm -hmm. you, can mm -hmm. virgin, you can be a virgin, you're virgin who is not sexually pure. Sexual. You're not sexually pure. What How? Exactly How is that possible? Because purity comes <laughs> through yes. what you see and what you hear. Yeah. Uh, you get that? I can be a virgin, mm. but I keep watching porn. Mm. I can be a virgin, but I'm masturbating. Mm. You're getting that? Yeah. Uh. Yes. I can be a virgin, but I have funny things that I do. 
Right. Which is even wise Bildos, ones. Yeah. Yeah. You know, okay, yeah. Mm. Because I have never been broken by a man. Mm. So, sexual purity, mm. it is something you pursue until eternity. Until when you die. Oh. So sexual purity wow. is not only for the people who are not married. Even the It's married. not for the children. It's mm. not for the teenagers. Mm. It's not for the for the youth. No. Yeah. Sexual purity is also for the people who are also married. Mm-hmm. Wow. You sexual have to stay purity. sexually pure yes. to your partner. Mm. Ah. You get that? Because most of people think after I marry, then I can do whatever I want. Mm. 